Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, the Third Rome, playing as Great Moravia. Currently at war with Great Britain, because France called us in, and also on our own war with Austria-Hungary, which is going to be quite fun. We didn't be cautious, by the way, because I see Ryazans on the way. We do have an army kind of separated from the rest of the group, but... Let's see how quickly we can knock out the rest of uh, Austria's allies. Maybe take down a fort or two. And I may actually want to go for uh, another third siege over here. I think these two together should be able to support each other. I don't know where Austria's army went. They got routed somewhere. But here's Sweden. 60, well, not quite 60, but 53 summit thousand strong, ready to go. Wiping Augsburg off the map for me. Thank you! Baden has accepted an offer to become a free city. Did I do that at the end of the last video? Because I don't really remember for sure. Maybe I did. Eh, whatever, it's Monday. Everything's getting recalculated. I can't be... I can't be expected to remember everything that happened. That's ridiculous. Crazy talk. All right. Ooh, Ulm, are you not... Wait, did I knock you out of this war? Oh, Ulm didn't actually join. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um, probably should go kill Sweden. Or, sorry, not Sweden. Switzerland, then. That would make more sense. Yeah, let's, let's go try a siege down uh, Switzerland's capital. Unless Sweden wants to do that for me. Maybe I can actually go here instead. Let's see what Sweden does. Still have some disputed succession in Brabant and apparently Saxony as well. That's fun. By the way, somebody pointed out in the comments section that Utrecht has my dynasty on the throne. And it's true, they do. But alas, it is not a feudal dynasty. This is some, I don't know, cousin who decided to go into the clergy. It's a bishop. So... He's, he's got a relative of my dynasty, yes, but I can't really expect to uh, inherit Utrecht in any way in the future. Though that would have been nice. Hey, look! France decided to end their war. Well, that's cool. We got nine favors with them. Can I call them in now? I totally can! Come on, France! Kill the Austrians! Well, now we get the best of all worlds. Looks like we are going to be able to kill Austria-Hungary using France after all. There's their army! We found them! Hello, France! Jump on that while you can. Easy target is easy. Got a random cannon here, too. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Here's Ryazan. Somehow navigating all the way around things. Not sure I like that. Ryazan, by the way... Ooh. I can't rival Great Britain anymore. Ryazan, by the way, I was doing a little bit of looking around. Just out of curiosity at some, like, ideas and national ideas kind of stuff. Ryazan is shockingly good. I don't know if it's possible for me to look it up. Um, can we see? Okay. Rise and Traditions here. National Unrest Reduction, Army Morale Speed. Okay. Meh. Arsenal of Rise and Extra Manpower and Force Limit, 15 and 25%, res respectively. Cavalry Cost, Manpower Recovery, Production Speed, Infantry Combat Ability, Mini Optimism, Core Creation Cost minus 15%, Advisor Costs, and an extra 10% Morale of Armies. They're shockingly good. You never see Ryazan survive long because usually Muscovy eats them. But I like him! I think it's a pretty strong nation! Alright, let's see. No, not Holstein. We will, however, give you military access. Free advisor slot. We need to get a new guy. Um, probably the improved relations guy. And you know what? We actually should upgrade our military advisor. Because somebody pointed out in the comment section I've had a level 1 guy for a while and I've been trying to get more military power. And that's a very good point. Could go for the land maintenance modifier and he'll save, you know, pay for himself, basically. Manpower, reinforce speed is okay. Discipline, however, sounds the best. You have an awesome hat, sir. And that mustache, I must say, is glorious. Okay, so we have plenty of money we can fund to these guys. We're going to have level 3 advisors across the board. And we have won a siege down over Mioth. That's good. Uh, can we get up here? Yes, I'm going to have these two armies come kind of closer together so that uh, I'm less likely to get picked off. Actually, is this a fort? It totally is. Let's go work on this fort for a little bit. Uh, you're not coming after me, are you? No, you're going over here for some reason. Okay. Mm yep, they are trying to unseize their capital. They still have quite a few troops, but if we can knock out some of your allies, that won't be so bad. We may want to consider actually trying to do a separate peace deal with Ryazan if we can. Take a little bit more lands? I don't think that would hurt me too much. Could be worth it. Could be worth it. He's not really eager to engage on me, which is good, but now he has about 100,000 troops. 
All in one central location, and understandably, I think that makes me a little on the nervous side. He really wants his capital back, but once he has that, I'm not too sure what he's going to do. Mites, yes, you may have your military access. These troops are just begging to die. Oh, it's almost all infantry. Well, that's good for my cannons, but it does mean he's going to have incredibly high combat width. But here comes Sweden and France. I'm going to let them handle the battles if possible while I take the forts. There they go. Sweden decided they wanted to jump on this. Uh, I'm not really eager to defend this, but I don't want you getting routed. Here comes France. Will it be enough? Yes. Okay. Look at it explode. Look at that silly person. Okay. Uh, how are we doing with Augsburg? 49%. 35% over here. Now we're killing Switzerland. Making good progress against Hungary. Excellent. Calling in France. That was uh, some pretty good timing right there. Thank you for ending it when you did. Hello, Bosnia. The only Protestant nation left in the game. I think that's correct, right? I mean, let's see. Yeah, Brandenburg's not technically pro uh, Catholic Protestant anymore. They have flipped over to Catholicism. And they're making something... Oh, we're making this a core. My mistake. They're not really looking to convert this for some reason, but they're going to have to eventually. What's this? It's white. No, it's still, it's still Catholic. I'm not sure why it's showing white in the religion map mode. I know it's being sieged down by rebels, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, Bosnia. The only Protestant nation left in the game. <laughs> uh, if um, if going for uh, religious purity was my goal in this series, I would absolutely target them soon, but nah, we don't have to worry about that. I'm just trying to be a good emperor. Hello, Austria. You're going to die. Yay. Many dead Austrians. Let's siege down the capital of Switzerland. Okay. Albania's doing good stuff. Doing the Lord's work down there. Papal State will cede some land to Mantua and Provence. Provence has their proper capital province back. Good. We've won the Siege of Augsburg. Alright, that's somebody I can knock out at least. Let's go ahead and do that now before I forget. You, sir, are not going to be allied to Austria anymore. I don't care about Switzerland. You can have him. Give me your war reps. Give me your 500 summit ducats. And... Uh, End your rivalry with Memmingen? I mean, they're not going to war anytime soon, are they? I don't think it matters. Let's we'll just go ahead and pull and piece them out. Alright, they're out. And one more little prince. Hello, Ryazan. I'm gonna chase you down. I don't know where you're going, but I know I don't like it. Come here, buddy. Come here! No, no. Provence no longer considers the Netherlands a rival. They've rivaled Alsace. That's fine. Come here. Ah, I can't see! Okay, looks like Flanders has added a region to the... Really? Oh, they took the Netherlands uh, capital and then added it to the uh, to the Empire. Well, that's fun. They seek protection from the French. Hmm, could very well be. Um, so I really would prefer that you gave back the Netherlands. But this, I guess, technically had not been part of the Empire before. So I guess it doesn't count. Lübeck, however, did take some unlawful territory. They took Berlin. Um, you know what? As long as you didn't kill a prince, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I could try to force him to give it back. Alternatively, at some point, I'm probably going to want to kill Lübeck. Make him give up some more land. But probably not until I've taken back Lübeck from Utrecht, given that to them, then take all their land, hand it off to other people, then make them a free city. By the way, I don't think I didn't notice that Dith Martian has been killed by Verden. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with them at some point as well. Not 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 really happy with that, Verden. That was rude. Alright, we're done with Salzburg. Done with Trier. Done with Memmingen. Done with Burgundy. Wow, that was pretty pretty effective, wasn't it? We should probably try ah bleh, words, what do they mean? We should probably try to improve relations with the Pope, shouldn't we? There we go. Okay. It is good to get back into uh, some EU4. Been doing a bit of work on the uh, CK2 series that we recently started up, which, by the way, if you have not seen it, I would highly recommend it. Made by the same people, if you didn't know. But, uh, really fun campaign so far. Uh-oh, Hungary's gonna go kill... Verden? Sweden hired Verden's troops. Actually, that's convenient for me. Go ahead and kill Verden. I need to fight them in the future, so... Yeah, do that. Verdan is no longer renting him out. They're immediately like, no, take him back! And Sweden's like, what do you mean? We don't have a return policy. Yes, we do. We're taking our troops. 
All right. Well, here they are again, buzzing around. Sweden, could you come nearby? I need to... I'm going to need to kill them. Corfu. Um, I mean, really, military access with me is a is an acceptable idea, but a bad idea. Because the Ottomans are about to come and kill you now. Yes, the Papal State may have military access. Apparently, they're at war with the Ottomans as well. How that happened, not too sure. Guess they got called in against Corfu. You're allied to Corfu? Oh, that was your first mistake right there, buddy. All right. So let's see. Uh, Ryazan escaped because I was on speed five and not paying attention. Let's go kill their troops here. Let's get ready to reinforce this. Okay, they're running away. They don't want to fight there. Could try catching some troops here, but then they're going to get dogpiled. I think I need to have some more reinforcements nearby first. So let's give them a minute to reposition. Okay, I'm going to wait till Ryazan gets locked. Whoops. Okay, hang on. We could go to Vienna. They're leaving on the 2nd. You'll arrive on the 9th. 2nd. It's going to turn into a pretty bloody fight pretty quick. Um, but hopefully Sweden's on the way. I think we can I think we can catch out Ryazan's forces and maybe maybe shatter them all the way back up toward Ryazan. Manufactories has fired. While a number of technological innovations during the course of the 16th and 17th centuries has increased the output of manufacturing production for some products such as iron or cloth to an extent the biggest improvement in the field of production has come in the form of new organization. Blah 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 blah. It is an institution. This changes everything and we did not get it. Again, damn. You should just give it to me. All right, it fired. What? No, really? It fired in frickin' China! Oh, that's fitting now, ain't it? <laughs> okay, so China understands uh, factories and mass production and, you know, borderline slave labor, apparently. That's gonna be a thing. Fun stuff. Uh, Alright, so, if that is the case, um, we are starting to get some progress in all of these provinces because we do have manufactories in some of these places, like, so, plantations, institution is spreading by 2.7 per month. So we may not have started with it, but it should spread relatively quickly throughout the core of my empire. But yeah, that is, uh, that is, that is amusing to me. Not gonna lie. All right, let's fight them in, oh, they're all turning right around. They're force marching. Wait, do I have force march? Do I have the force march option? Oh, I think I, I think I actually do have force march. I've not really paid attention. Hey, Sweden! What are you doing? Come and help me out! Okay, Norway, the coldest period of the Little Ice Age. The winters have been getting longer and colder for as long as anyone can remember. So the price of grain, wine, and fish goes down, which is the opposite of what I would think it would be. Uh, I understand what they're trying to say is that grain, wine, and fish are harder to produce than before. But the scarcity, the relative scarcity, should mean that the price goes up. So that's not necessarily correct. Little Ice Age. I think people forget about this. Wasn't this um, during the time that the uh, the English Channel was like frozen over? So all these ships shouldn't be here. If I'm correct. Alright, I don't know if this is going to be enough to beat uh, 100,000. But so far they're at a pretty significant penalty. We have a bit more discipline, a lot more morale, and slightly better tactics. Of course we rolled a zero though. That just goes without saying. And they retreated. Ryazan ran away. They lost about 15,000 men compared to my six or so. Can we chase these guys down? That's the new question. Let's go down to speed four so I can react a little bit faster. Uh, they're going this away. Hello. Uh, let's see. Some of you going here. Ryazan, you go where you want. I'm going to chase down Hungary and Austria. They're going all the way down to that fort. Ah, darn. Not going to be able to catch that out. That's fine, though. Uh, I'll just let them shatter, get split up. Maybe France can pick them off. No reason for me to suffer unnecessary attrition hunting them down. Okay, we killed that fort. Uh, maybe it is worth hunting them down, actually. Can we get over here? Not with this fort in the way. Okay, well... Whoop! Hello! Okay, hang on. I'm now locked into a fight that I didn't want. Hang on, wait. I have the power of Forced March. Now, that's going to cost me a bit of uh, military power doing so, but you know what? If we can reinforce faster, I think it'll be worth it. Okay, get in here, please. Oh, God. We're going to make it. We've won the Siege of Waldstadt. Okay, we need to peace out Switzerland. Super peace. Can I have you release any nations? Don't think so. 
I don't want you to give up any more land, so you know what? Revoke your treaty with Austria. Everyone else is fine. War reps, money. Uh, don't care about the rest of this. And I'm not going to take any of your provinces. Okay, Switzerland is out. Did we lose a fight? Ah, oh, crap, we lost a fight just at the wrong time. Reinforcements are on their way. No, the reinforcements didn't even arrive. Well, okay, they arrived the day they retreated, therefore they get routed, and now this army is stuck on its own. Oh, good god. Alright, I hate it when that kind of crap happens. Looks like we're actually going to win this fight, though. We weakened them pretty substantially. I'm still annoyed. But at least it wasn't a total loss. Man, you're running far away. You're going all the way to Switzerland. That's not even mine. All right. You're going to Constantinople. Gosh dang it, I hear people doing yard work outside. Hey! It's not... No. Guy's got an edger. I don't even know if it can pick it up in the microphone. I hope not. I'm going to try to cut that out the best I can, but... Very irritating. All right, let's uh, improve with Sardinia Piedmont. Oh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start getting a spy network we already have against uh, Verden. Never mind. Uh, let's get a spy network against Livonian Order. Let's get one against... Gosh, I'm rock and raw. Let's get a few extra claims. Try to stack wipe uh, Austria if we can. Greek separatism. Okay. Lots of cores for the nation of Greece, which does not actually exist. But if they do rebel, these are the kind of separatists that we could expect in the future. Okay, we wiped out a ton of cannons. Oh, that's a stack wipe. That was like 15,000 cannons. Well, okay, it was like 10,000 men. But once they reinforced, you know it was going to be more than that. Let's go kill Hungary. Oh, beautiful. That's another stack wipe. Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right. Split, split, split. Go here, 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 and here. Okay, I see you, Ryazan. I see you. You don't belong there, man. Maybe we should march on up to Ryazan with this army. I mean, France is already kind of covering it, but yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, you're... I can move you? Why are you still going to Switzerland? I thought you were shattering. Okay, I have no idea what's going on there anymore. I'm not going to lie. It's fine. I'll use that army to try and catch out Ryazan. In the meantime, they're training up some mercs, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. And Tunis is doing nasty things. Like raiding places. Very rude. Internal conflicts in Tiberistan. Okay. Here? No, we'll go here. Up to 10 Imperial Authority now. Still going up a fair bit. I do need to be very careful about when I decide to pass this. Disallowing internal HRE wars is good because that should increase the amount of Imperial Authority I get pretty substantially. Like doubling it. But I don't want to do that until I've released a whole bunch of princes. So I may need to go on a series of... Um, Wars to release different nations. And then before they have a chance to kill each other, pass this. But I'm not going to be able to do that until I have a lot more provinces to add in to the Empire anyway. So that'll have to wait. By the way, I did also notice in the uh, last week's worth of videos that uh, for some reason it looked like more than one Imperial Authority was being given out for some provinces. Right? Like it jumped from 48 to 50 and stuff like that. It's not supposed to, as far as I'm aware. Unless something's changed, I'm, I'm... If people... If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section below. But I'm pretty sure in the EU4 wiki, it says that I get one Imperial Authority per province not tied to development. And yet, we definitely saw that we were getting a little bit more than one in a few cases. So why did that happen? I'm not sure. So if anybody knows, that would be great. Please, please tell us. But I'm, I, as far as I was aware, I was not supposed to. Okay. That's a few more Austrians dead. Let's chase these guys down. They're building up a surprisingly respectful, respectable army down here. That's a few more dead. Can't catch them there. Can't go to Tyrol. Yes, I can. You're lying. Okay, let's go to Tyrol and we'll siege this down as well. Okay, Sweden finished here. We're sieging down the capital of Ryazan. Ryazan has tiny stacks trying to siege down little provinces here and there, which I don't appreciate, but you know what? You do what you can, man. It's adorable that you are trying. 
I like mocking my opponents, if you haven't noticed. It's really quite fun for me. Okay, another thing got converted. East Frisia does not have an heir. Mm -hmm. Go here next. Just kind of start working our way west. They have like 40,000 troops again. Not happy about it, but I don't think it's a threat. Go here. I don't know. I mean, Bavaria declared war on Augsburg. Gosh dang it, Bavaria. No! I'm going to start preemptively improving relations with them because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to demand uh, unlawful territory. And then after that, I plan on killing them and taking a bunch of their own land. For reasons. Ryazan, hi. How are you doing, buddy? I'm going to take your capital, if that's okay. Hey, good job, Albania. Go get them. Yeah! Look at you go! Perfect little vassal. So pleased with you. Uh, I'm going to take your forts with help of France, right? And I'm going to take some more land from you because I can. Okay? Sound good? I think so. Hmm. Now, we do want to try and release some more nations from Austria once that becomes op uh, an option for us. Now, do I have any claims against you? No. No, we do not. So, anything I take from you is going to be a bit of a... bit of a, an aggressive expansion thing, you know? Push. Well, let's start by first off saying you can't ally Austria anymore. I don't care about Muscovy. War reps is nice. Can't take Moscow. What do I want? Do I want this? I mean, 14 development's okay, I guess. What if I did something like this? It's not a ton of land. It's like five more provinces. But hey, five more provinces is like five more imperial authority. I'm 10% of the way to my next, uh, my next thing. Could be all right. Of course, I need to have a bit more war score before that's going to be a thing. But don't worry, I know that they have no defending army, and they have two forts left to go over there, and France is sieging one down here, and we'll get there. The question really is less of, can I take land from Ryazan in a separate peace deal? Because I definitely can. And it's more of a, will I get overextended if I then take land from Austria-Hungary? So 35% with Ryazan, and let's suppose I take all of this, which I think is what I have claims on primarily. Not Zep... Zem, Zemplin? Zemplen? Blee, blee, blee. My momo. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be overextended if I take all of my claims plus Vienna. That seems to be more or less inevitable. I would like to take Vienna. I can have you release a bunch of nations, and... I can have them actually release a few nations in Hungary, but I don't care about that. I do care about Tyrol. Transylvania makes little sense. And the rest of these are not part of the Empire. So this is the only prince I could release. I'm not going to have them cancel their subject over Hungary. Though that is tempting. I don't care about... I mean, I do kind of care about Ryazan. But I'm going to have Ryazan break that up by, with a separate peace deal. So that's not relevant. War reps is tempting. You have a lot of money? Nope. Could have you return cores. I don't like that you own this province. What can I give it to? I couldn't give it to anybody. Hmm. Doesn't have any other uh, cores on it. I guess you'll have to keep that for the time being. Venice? No. Muscovy? No one in the Empire. So this is the peace deal I'm probably going to go for then. But if I do, this means taking either less land from Ryazan or peace out Ryazan ASAP, start coring, on it, uh, coring it, and hold on to Austria's war a little bit longer. And a general died. Dang it! Well, we're going to wait on that and get the military tech anyway. I want to have better cannons. Okay, it's another siege down. I think we jump on this. I know it's in the mountains, but... Their armies are currently sidetracked with Sweden, so while they're split up, let's go ahead and route Wyazan a little bit more. Traveling Minstrel, extra power. Sure. That should translate into an extra state for me, actually. Let's not forget about those. Uh, Oka is a pretty good state. Palatinate is another, and that one's going to be mostly free. Mostly. At 41 development currently. 
That should be over here somewhere, right? Yes. This right here is the Palatinate. Uh, I'd have to take... I'd have to take Mainz if I want to finish the state. That said, I mean, it's at 41 development right now. That's pretty good. And I think I can get it for free. So let's go ahead and turn it into a state. There we go. It is free. Nice. Clergy also have a thing. Uh, let's go to Oka. Should be over here. There you are. Oka? You got some shockingly good development over here. I'm going to core you on up. Oh, wait. You were free as well. That can't be right. Didn't I take some land from Ryazan for this? Oh! No, I can't do it because I'm currently at war with someone else who has a core there. Well, bollocks. Good to know, but... Oops. And the last one is Hinterpommern. Now, I have no idea where that is. Oh, hello. Let's see. Ah, this place. 15, 11, and 6. Hmm... It does have the Odor Estuary, so getting lower autonomy here could be pretty good. I guess we go ahead and do this uh, as a state as well. Core you up. Bam. Okay, clergy demand some more lands. So do the nobility. Right, of course they do. Uh, I think we give this to the nobility. That should please them. And we can give this to the clergy, which is not quite enough. But we would get a little bit more missionary strength here if I do a little bit more development. Maybe it's not so bad. Okay. That says 15%. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Perfect. All right. All right. Hey, uh, France, why'd you give this to Sweden? No. France, come here. Siege down, siege down Kazan. France? Dang it, France! We were an honorable people. Why won't you listen to me? Okay. I'm going to send a guy back over to some lands. Actually, we'll just siege this down real quick. I need to get myself a new general. Unless Albania wants to come over here, I'd be okay with that. Lend me your general. I don't know if I'm going to get this done very quickly. Maybe we take a little less land. If I do this, I can finish my war with Austria. Like right now. And that won't be too much overextension. But they're not willing to end it. So what if I didn't take the war reps? Aha! That's actually probably enough, to be honest. I can have them revoke a couple cores. Alternatively, 373 ducats. And then some co a core. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I could have taken more land against Ryzan, but you know what? There'll be always opportunities to kill them later. For now, for now, I think I'd just rather end it. So we're done with them. Good job. Boom. Okay. More land for me to corp. And we are out of admin power. Oh, right. That's a problem now, ain't it? Uh. Huh. I didn't think about that. Wait, we just turned a whole bunch of things into states. Oh, dang it. Um, I didn't think that through quite right. Well, good news is, in about a year and a half or so, I can demand admin support, so we'll be able to end this. I guess I'll hold on to this war as long as I need to. I don't even have a diplomat right now, but... Yeah, oops. Didn't, uh, didn't think that through, did I? Okay, well, let's pull, pull off of Verden. Go back up to speed 5. And take all of you and go here... And here. Perfect. Okay. So we can sit on this war for a little while if we want. Looks like the very end of their war without taking over the prince, so that's good. I don't have to kill them now. Um, hmm. You guys here, I guess. Yeah, we could sit on this and try to get more admin power. What would it cost me with the current peace deal that I had? 311. That is a lot of power, ain't it? Yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir, it is. I could have taken more land from uh, Ryazan is what I'm realizing. Because we're going to have to wait a year or so anyway, aren't we? Boo! Ah, uh, that's an unforced error. Whatever. I'm just going to I'm just gonna bankrupt them. Let's just sit on this and loot them for a long time. It'll be great. I'm going to make a ton of money at your expense. Hey, wait! 
Extra power! Nice timing! Thank you! Alright, that's the Siege of Tyre well done. Alright, split, split, and split. Go here, here, here. You guys split, split, split. Stay there, then go here, here, and... Uh, here. We're just gonna loot for a while. Let's make some free money. Cause some devastation in all of Austria. Maybe if we weaken them enough, Hungary will try to break free. Which means in the future, I'll be able to try and kill them. Royal marriage with Albania is ultimately irrelevant. I don't want to lose more power, are you kidding me? Hmm, national unrest reduction. No. 15 admin power is still 15 admin power right now. And that is the last fort there. Only thing left that is holding out on me is Venice, and I don't have naval superiority. Let's grab the military tech. Done. Upgrade our cannons. Done. And I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. In the next video, we are going to finish our war with Austria-Hungary after I've generated a bit more admin power so I can core some stuff. But things are looking pretty good for us. Finally taking this relationship on. Happy about that. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>